Hi! So, like, a few minutes ago, I just made a video on OSHA. If you didn't see that, um, go watch it because this should piggyback and marry that video. <laughs> Goofy, right? No, but seriously, if you didn't watch that video, go ahead and watch that because it'll help this one make a little bit more sense and then come back and watch that. If you've watched that, then welcome to this video because you're in the right place. Um, so we're on the Needle Stick Safety and Prevention Act of 2000. Uh, this, mod this law is one that modifies OSHA and it is a new group of requirements for the medical community on things called SHARPs and the rules and regulations around that. Um, when they say SHARPs, they're talking about things that are, um, they're referring to things like needles, puncture devices, knives, scalpels, and other tools that can harm either the person using them or someone else. Um, so it provides rules related to handling the, the devices, disposing of them, and encouraging invention of new device inventions of new devices that will reduce or eliminate the risk associated with injury due to sharps. Um, so if, as you can see that this is definitely prevalent in the medical field. Um, so the interesting thing about sharps is their injuries are supposed to be recorded in, on the OSHA 300 log, which is why I said it's related to my last video. Um, it should not have the employee's name, but it should have a privacy case. That's how it should be identified when you're using it, putting that information on the OSHA 300 log. Um, bloodborne pathogens, did I say that right? I don't know. And transmission of human bloodborne illnesses such as AIDS and HIV and hepatitis are key targets of this law. So that's why they're saying not to put the names, you know, um, kind of being respectful, right? Uh, basically, reducing the amount of injury and subsequent illnesses due to puncture, stab, or cut wounds is the primary objective of this one, of this law. Um, and then there's some more communication requirements that go around that they've set through that should be communicated to employees, but I think that it'd be best if you look those up on your own. This is just a quick high level overview of the needle stick in safety, our needle stick safety and prevention act of 2000. Thanks for watching.